a lot of individuals are writing in about um, having issues with subluxation of the ulnar nerve. Um, there are several issues uh, that can occur that cause this, and if you are a weightlifter, as you're more prone to it because of muscle imbalances um, that occur in the elbow joint. And so, you know, between the, the flexor group, the extensors in the lower arm, the biceps, the triceps, the medial lateral head of the triceps, um, all take place in the shifting and the alignment of the elbow joint. So, what can happen is that as you're constantly flexing the elbow, um, the, the nerve, if it's not gliding appropriately, can um, obtain friction, or if it's dry, it can obtain friction in the uh, cubital tunnel. And then, of course, as there's friction, then there's swelling, there's irritation. And so what can happen is that you can have tissue develop in the, uh, in the cubital tunnel, and so the nerve does not sit deep enough inside the cubital tunnel, and so it pops out and pops back and forth across the medial epicondyle. Um, also, too, the nerve can swell, and therefore cannot fit in the cubital tunnel, which can now cause it to pop across. And we are extremely uh, flexing the elbow, so you're creating this severe V, okay? Um, what happens is that it's looking for the shortest distance between two points here, okay? Here, around, up to the shoulder, okay? So what happens is that it pops across here, to here. It's looking for those two shortest points. So it pops across the medial epicondyle because this right here, is the shortest point between these uh, uh, two areas. And so um, you want to avoid the V, extreme flexion of the elbow joint, okay? So being on the cell phone, triceps extensions where your arms are coming up, tricep extensions where your arms are coming up here and you're pressing down, bicep curls where I'm coming all the way up to here. You do not want to do that. See the extreme V here? See the extreme V here, especially if you're in a prone position, like palm down. What it does is stretch the ulnar nerve further because you're going into pronation. See, in the palm up, the radius and the ulna are lying side by side. When you go palm down, it actually, the bones cro cross over, okay? And so then what happens is that it's actually, in a sense, like wringing a washcloth and stretching the tissue. You now have a greater distance between the medial elbow as the ulnar nerve comes around to the pinky side of the wrist. So it's now stretching it and twisting it, which can cause it to pop again across the medial epicondyle right here. Okay, so it's going to pop across, boom. And so what you want to do is avoid the extreme V in anything you do. Bench press, tricep press down, skull crushers, holding onto a cell phone, because the flexor group here oftentimes it traps the ulnar nerve and so it doesn't glide freely here. And so because it's trapped here, what happens as it tries to glide, once again too, is that because it's trapped here, that it doesn't stretch from here to here very well. It's only stretching from here around up and through the upper arm and shoulder. And then so what happens, again, it pops across the medial epicondyle, looking for the shortest distance because it's not elongating enough. But um, this can be corrected through stretches and exercises. And another thing is you want to avoid the lockout of the elbow joint because when you do tricep press downs or anything where you're locking out, I don't care what it is, um, you, are, uh, you have the ability to entrap the ulnar nerve. You don't do lockout. You don't do extreme flexion and really anything. And you for sure don't do it if you are getting symptoms of cubital tunnel syndrome. So keep those things in mind. Check out my channel for the corrective stretches and exercises uh, to eliminate cubital tunnel syndrome without rerouting the ulnar nerve. Thanks a lot and see you soon.